Hi everyone, my name is Victor, and today I'm going to explain why I like to take notes on textbooks and pre-lecture materials. So if you're into that, go ahead and click like and subscribe on the video right now, and let's just jump into it. So the first thought that you might have is, why would I even want to take notes on the textbook or pre-lecture materials? Isn't it the professor's job to teach me this material anyway? Why would I want to take my own notes uh, before the lecture? And there is, there is some logic to that. I mean, you can get by going only off of lecture notes and everything, but it is not optimal. If you want to excel and succeed and go even farther in school, then you should learn to take notes by yourself on textbooks and other materials. The one main advantage that you have if you start taking notes before the actual lecture, like from the textbook, is that you actually get to absorb the information first from the textbook from your own reading. That means when you go over the material in lecture, you already have an idea of what you don't know or what you don't understand. And you don't have to worry so much about taking notes on every single thing that the professor says because you already have the notes written down. So you can pay more attention to what the professor explains and what they say. So you can actually absorb and understand the explanations of the information even better. Now not only that, but going over the same material multiple times is actually proven to help increase the knowledge and understanding of what you're trying to learn. So you can't really learn something from the first time you read it or the first time you encounter it. You have to go over it multiple times to be able to fully understand the ideas and knowledge that you're trying to learn. So this is why actually reading the textbook before class and taking notes on it is very effective. There aren't very many people in the world that can actually learn stuff the first time they encounter it. And statistically speaking, me and you aren't those people. Well, I, de I definitely know I'm not. Statistically speaking, you're probably not either. So what you should do is try to go over the material as much as you can. And going over it before the lecture, before you encounter it, an explanation from the professor is actually super beneficial. This also helps you come up with questions and be more prepared for what's going to happen in the lecture. It's a lot easier to follow along in a lecture if you've already seen the material before. That's why I always do this. I always take notes before my lecture. Now one of my favorite ways to do this is actually to summarize each individual paragraph that's inside the textbook with one or two sentences. You don't want to just rewrite the textbook, because that's just a waste of time and a waste of energy. What you want to do is just take the important information out of the textbook and onto your notes. And by doing this, you're actually actively sorting through all the information in the textbook, creating an even stronger understanding of the knowledge that you're trying to learn. So actively sorting through all the information presented to you inside of the textbook is actually a very good way to create a mu much better understanding of the information inside of the textbook. And my favorite way of doing this is with the short one to two sentence summaries of each paragraph. Or if you're in short paragraphs, just a few sentences per page. This also helps you organize your notes a lot easier. It's a lot easier to go through the one or two sentence summaries of the textbook rather than just rereading a block of text that's inside the book or on your notes. So I highly recommend you do not just put a block of text on your notes. Do like bullet summaries or uh, bullet points, just main, main facts about the textbook that you're reading. Now if you're like me and you're taking a lot of STEM classes with a lot of mathematical expressions in them, like inside this textbook right here, well then, how do you take notes on the equations that are inside them? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You would just do it like you would do it in normal lecture, except instead of just writing equations verbatim on on your notes, I would like to do is like write each step of the equation on its own line block, and then on the other side of my notes, I like to put the detailed explanations or if they're using certain identities that you'd have to remember or something like that. That way there's no interruption on one side of your equations that are going through, and then you have detailed explanations on the other side. Now you don't need to write every single equation. If you see an equation in the book that you have memorized, you don't need to write it. Just like with summarizing the paragraphs, you don't want to write every single sentence. With the, writing the equations, you don't really want to write every single equation. If you know how to skip steps or go from here to here, then you don't need to write what's in the middle of them. Or if there are equations that you already have memorized, you don't need to rewrite every single equation. Just make sure you have the most important steps listed out in like block line equation form and you have explanations to how you got these equations or how you solved these solutions. Because there's nothing worse than just looking at your notes and it's just a wall of equations and you have no idea how to actually solve them or what steps they took to solve them 
or if there's any special identities or something that needed to be used to solve these equations. Alright, so to summarize, what you need to do first is make sure that you're preparing your brain to learn the information by rereading the text and taking notes on it. And these pre-lecture notes help you do that. Also, taking these notes on the textbook helps you understand what you don't know. So you can ask questions on this or pay close attention during lecture. This also helps you pay more attention to your lectures instead of having to write down every single thing the professor says or every single equation that the professor writes down. You can actually pay attention and follow along to the detailed explanations that your professor is giving you. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit like. And if you want to see more study tips on science, technology, and engineering, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, later.